56 millimeters, 85 grams with a dual adjustment system, all for under $10. This is our Everyone Solves on the MoYu RS3M 2020. Hey guys, this is Ro. I've had the chance to try out a lot of new releases this week, and the RS3M 2020 is by far one of the most impressive ones. The puzzle is super smooth and fast, and feels like a huge improvement over its predecessor. I personally wasn't the biggest fan of the previous MF3 RS3M. It was a nice puzzle, but it was too fast for me, and it felt like there was a lot of unnecessary open space in the design, which made it feel a bit over flexy. The RS3M 2020 definitely doesn't have that problem. It feels like a very compact design that is more controllable without sacrificing speed. I noticed that only a small percentage of world-class cubers today use the previous RS versions as mains, but I think the RS3 2020 will definitely be seen in the hands of many top solvers in the upcoming months. Hey everyone, it's Damien. The RS3 2020 is an exciting release for me. I mained the MF3 RS2M for quite a while and still love the feel of that puzzle. This reminds me of that 3x3. Just holding the cube, it feels like it might be blocky, but when you start turning, the mechanism takes over and you get the true rounded off plush feel. Corner cutting is equal to the best I've ever seen, and the only potential problem I can see with this puzzle are the magnets, which are on the weaker side. Overall, great puzzle and fantastic value. Hey, this is Phil. It looks like there's another serious contender in the best cube under $10 group. I like to say the RS3M 2020 is a great no frills economy cube, but I'd be wrong. The cube maintains a fantastic price and it has frills. The dual adjustment system in the cube is a shining example of MoYu taking an originally fancy technology and making it more accessible as it ages. I have a lot of respect for this. The cube itself works pretty well. It's a little dry and sandy out of the box, but breaking it in helps a lot. I normally don't really like frosted plastic, but this cube was so interesting that I put up with it and broke it in anyway. I look forward to comparing this cube to my Chi MS once I cube on it more. I'm really happy MoYu is creating new opportunities for people to enjoy nice puzzles and features. Now I guess MoYu has two good magnetic economy cubes, the Meilong 3x3M and the RS3M 2020. Hey, it's Jules. If you like lightweight, light turning, and light magnets, then this cube hits the nail on the head. It's pretty much a cube with little to no fuss in the overall performance, and even comes with some light customization features that will please a lot of introductory level cubers getting into setting up their own stuff. Corner cutting is decent, a bit sandy out of the box, which can be quickly fixed with lube, and stability is no issue after some setup. Those combined make it another great cube in the ever-growing performance budget market. Though, if you're a fan of stronger magnets, this might not be a good choice, as you might find yourself overturning like I did. Despite that, this cube easily gets my recommendation, and Moe can rest easy that they have produced another cube that's sure to please their fans as well as some potential converts. As for me, I'll probably wait until my Meilong M becomes unusable and revisit this cube in the future. Hi everyone, this is Yu Shen Du. Today I'll share my brief thoughts on the new released RS3M 2020. First of all, this cube is designed with frosted surface. This will solve the scratches problem. I know some cubers don't like frosted design, but actually after few breaking solves, the surface can be polished and has a better hand gripping. Out of the box, the cube is a little bit slippery, so I put in sticky lube. After few solves, the overall performance reached an outstanding level. It is definitely a main potential 3x3 and I will try to use it in future competitions. So if you want to have a budget friendly and high performance 3x3, don't miss it, the R3M 2020.